Hi, I'm Forrest, and I screwed up. I screwed up. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a interesting video because we're trying to break these up into easily consumable sections. However, there are some steps when you're installing the stage one kit that are easier done when the engine is in the frame. So we'll talk about all of that as we go. The stage one kit that we get from Go Power Sports includes an air filter adapter, a uh, upgraded jet, an air filter, and an exhaust system. You can select the exhaust with the muffler. You can select the trumpet exhaust. There's about 15 different options depending on the uh, kit that you purchase. Um, so as we start looking at this thing, you can see that we did get the gas tank back on. You saw in the governor removal that we snipped this wire and we prepped this to receive the butt uh, connector from the Monster Moto frame. We'll put the Monster Moto frame ground lug right there. And then as you come over to this side, you do not need this air box. We're going to take these two 10 millimeter uh, nuts off, we'll remove the plastic air box, we'll take the bowl off of the carburetor, put a new jet in, and then as I was saying, some of this stuff is um, easier done when it's in the frame. We're not going to put the air filter adapter back on until we get the uh, engine block set into the frame and the frame holes mounted because the air filter adapter interferes with the, uh, with the re right rear frame bar. So we'll leave that off, make some of our measuring a little bit easier, and then we'll put that on. So we'll talk about that as we go through the engine installation and the uh, clutch alignment. This muffler will come off. This muffler gets put on. The muffler's part of the stage one kit. Um, however, that's another thing that we don't do now. Much easier to do the exhaust and muffler install once the engine is mounted in the frame. This is the stage one kit that we get from Go Power Sports, and uh, we're gonna get to work now. So first up, just to uh, make a little room as we're working around this, I'm gonna pull the exhaust off. It's big, it's bulky, and uh, we're not going to reuse it. So I'll pull this off, save the nuts. Um, the kit that you purchase, the upgraded exhaust may or may not come with exhaust nuts. When you're doing this, if the stud comes out of the engine, that's fine. On newer engines that haven't been run, oftentimes the exhaust gasket will stay intact. Yeah, that one appears to be relatively intact. Uh, allowing you to uh, to reuse that. You shouldn't ever reuse an exhaust gasket, but uh, it's a mini bike that we're building here. So we've got the exhaust out of the way. I like to put the exhaust nuts back on there so that when I'm looking for them later, I know where to find them. When you go to pull this air box off, if you've got the filter kit, you will end up reusing a piece of this rubber hose, so don't cut, don't cut it all the way off, don't tear it up, don't throw it away. Um, take these two 10 millimeter nuts off and then you'll pull the air box off to facilitate pulling the air box off Take these two levers and push them this way We're gonna pull the air box this way and if they're over here, you're just fighting against yourself, so Once you get these two nuts off, and you will reuse these nuts when you put the uh, air filter adapter on, once you get these two nuts off, the only thing holding this air box on is this rubber hose connection, and if you come over to this side, you can see the rubber hose that goes to the top of the uh, valve cover. So those are what are holding this on. So when you start pulling on it, you may have a little bit of trouble. 
pull the rubber hoses off, it comes clean. Um, leave the exhaust stud, or uh, leave the carburetor studs in place. If you do end up removing a carburetor stud or removing the carburetor, there's some paper gaskets right here that have to be put back in properly. If you just remove one stud, the gasket will swing down, it'll create an intake leak, and uh, your, your uh, motor will only run fully choked and at low speed. You'll have lots of trouble. On this piece, you want to pull this rubber hose off and save this. We're going to use this with the filter kit. And then this, yeah, this rubber hose is continuous from here all the way through to this side. We're only going to end up needing maybe an inch and a half or two inches of this. So if you want to pull it all the way out of there, you can. Uh, remember we talked about not throwing anything away until you know that you didn't need it. Um, this one you can know that you're not going to need it. So we'll get that cut. I was going to try to pull it out of there and show off for you guys, but that didn't work. We'll get that cut um, about two inches down and end up putting the filter right here. Um, and we'll put those filters on here in a minute. Again, I like to put the nuts back on so that I know where they are when I go looking for them. We are not putting the air filter adapter on right now. The air filter adapter goes on like this. When you put it on, the letters, if you get the Go Power Sports, the letters GPS should be the correct way. Right side up. Another way to tell is this little tapped hole at the top. That holds the choke retention bracket. And so we'll install that later and we'll put all of this on and it'll hold everything down. But just because of the sequence of the build, it's not, it's not a good idea to put these on right now. What is a good idea to put on right now is the carburetor jet. Everything's cleared away from it, it's easy to get to. You'll notice on the carburetor there are two 10 millimeter bolts. One of them's angled off to the side, one of them points straight down. The one that's angled off to the side is the carburetor drain. The one that points straight down uh, holds the bowl on. This is the one that we want to remove because we're going to remove the bowl and that allows us to have access to the carburetor jet. So we're going to pull the carburetor bowl off. There's a rubber o-ring up here that helps it seal. This is where we, earlier you heard me mention mechanical sympathy. This is where you don't have to get real heavy-handed with this. This is a pop metal cheap cast carburetor body. There's no reason to force anything here. Make sure when you're taking the screw out, lefty loosey. Do the rest by hand. Comes right out. It's not a long-winded bolt. Nope. Bolt comes out. We've never run this engine. It's got a clean bowl. And then this silver tube that you see here contains... The silver tube that you see here contains the factory jet. The factory jet is brass. So at this point we're working with brass and pot metal. Again, don't get heavy handed with this. Okay, so you've got to have a screwdriver that's narrow enough to fit up the tube here. Uh, over at uh, International Headquarters Satellite Office Studio A, we've got one that was custom ground to fit here. Uh, we've got a Stanley screwdriver that fits right up in there and if you turn it a little you'll feel it drop into the slot that's in the jet. Unscrew the jet. The jet is screwed way in there. Go ahead and get it out. All right. When the jet comes out, if you've got the carburetor oriented vertically, it's going to come out. Can you see that? It's going to come out with the emulsion tube. Make sure you don't lose this and um, put it back in when you put the new jet in. The emulsion tube goes in oriented like this. This lip stops it from going too far into the carburetor body and then the main jet seats up against the bottom like that. Go Power Sports packages their jets 
on these nice yellow car cards. So you don't lose them. Exactly. All right, so when you're putting the new jet in, put the emulsion tube back in, put the jet in, put the screwdriver in, and take your time to be careful. Um, there's no reason to strip this out. Again, that's brass on a little cheap casting. Get it snug. You're not putting, there, this is no time to use power tools. Um, just gently put it back in there. Once it's back in there, you're ready to reassemble the carburetor bowl. You can look right up here, make sure that your black rubber O-ring is still in place. Ours is. The rubber O-ring seals against this flange on the stamped steel bowl. Let's put it back in there. Orient the drain however you would like, whatever's easiest for you to get to uh, when it's installed in your frame. I like to point them out the side. And then replace the bolt that retains the bowl. Done. You've now installed the carburetor jet and uh, ready to move on to the next step. Are we actioning? Yep. Okay, so we removed the air box earlier. We're gonna sit, we're gonna cut a little bit off of this rubber tube. Leave the clamp on there. Cut it off before the second bend. We end up with this piece of rubber. And we'll go right on there. Now the reason we do that is because we're about to install the filter kit. This nice filter kit is an option for the stage one kit. Comes from Go Power Sports. Comes with two different sized filters. Pay a little bit of attention to what's going on here. You're going to take the smaller sized filter and it will fit right into the stock hose. Use some needle nose pliers or some dikes to move the clamp. and you've got the filter there. The filter kit does come with two zip ties. You can put the zip ties on to retain the filter. It's not needed. This is a barbed fitting. It holds it on just fine. There's not a lot of room in there to get the zip tie in. Um, I actually think the zip tie may, if you put it in, it may force the rubber off. Haven't had any of these fall off. Cut the tube straight, put the filter on there, over the barb completely. That's the small filter going onto the fuel tank. Now, they include a second filter, it's larger, and this is for your uh, valve cover. When you're going to put this on, you'll notice that the tube that came off of the valve cover, this, was, this came with the engine, we saved this. It's too big, it doesn't fit. Go Power Sports includes this nice piece of tube that's too small and doesn't fit there. So the easiest solution is to take about a three quarter inch piece of this tubing, insert it all the way over the barb, make sure you get it nice and flush onto the filter, lubricate it with a little bit of spit. and push it all the way in. That's nice. On this particular one, I do like to use the uh, zip tie. When I put it on there, I position it just beyond the bulge from the barb. Pull it nice and tight. Always trim the tails of your zip ties. And then this goes back on there. That's a pretty strong fit. You'll find that as we're installing this kit um, into, the, into the mini bike and putting the air filter adapter on, you'll rotate this around and, and put it in the place that you want it and kind of keep it out of the way. All right, so that is the, air, that is the filter kit install. 
This is the vent for the fuel tank. This allows uh, pressure and air from the tank to come out. And then this allows pressure and air from the uh, crankcase and valve cover to uh, come out also. So that completes the install of those. At this point, we've got the upgraded carburetor jet installed, the filter kit installed, and the exhaust removed. We are ready to put the clutch on and situate the new engine in the frame of the Monster Moto 80 so that we can see where we're going to uh, drill the holes. That's coming up.